because fossils are very bad at shelling. And uh, Bob Keynes from US actually finding the matter in this way state, drill down in the changing deposits and found out, oh, it's the underground, it's exactly what's under the ship. The only thing that surface out is rich horn, the superficial weather nature. Um, and so that's actually, it does engage in actually shown this site preservation and just, you know, you can something that seems to be common for the Cambrian world, at least a good place to find. Um, so here's some of the animals that look at them. Um, I've been done on, but uh, to show you some of the amazing animals preservation, we have sponges from the shell. This uh, stuff from a simple colonial use of the form, and the box now, here's the box yet. Um, you know, this is something turned over again. Yeah, some scientists have silica stickles, some fossil ones. This one's all organic. You know, so they, all the detail there is just carbon and fossil stickles. Um, here's another sponge for any. I don't have a direct this, but you can actually see a very complicated um, so I silica stickles sticking out from a sponge. This one has calcium carbonate ones, and they form an amazing network uh, inside that sponge. So there's a variety of sponges. You have nigerians, a group of colorfish, um, today, uh, and um, hydra, and dusoids. This is a banana related to that. Again, all soft tissue. We have really moss. Um, we even have tiny bug elves inside. There's things that look like this. Um, and those are typically their shell organisms. These are to preserve. Um, we have this thing, Haplophrontis, which I'm not entirely sure what it is. It might be in the moss. It has sort of a little shell, a couple of projection features, and it has a little sort of shell on the front, and also you see a bug off. So I think it's a member of the moss, just the one thing. Um, these are also well known because these bracketed birds uh, apparently like to eat them. <laughs> and they're only something back of this horn. So it gets a nice detailing thing like that. Honestly, here's that sort of head here at the process. Yeah, here. That would have been protruding. It's quite true to fall down. Like that guy near the end of the journey. Um, there are brachyopods in this as well, very common boss of shell organism. Um, there, are, there are some brachyopods around the day, but these are bristles from brachyopods that may have been to be uh, past the organisms. So you get these shells. You very rarely find detail like this anyway. Oh, it's getting on. These brachyopods, but they wouldn't be very annoying in this, like maybe you're recording this or something. That's fine. Yeah, so that's the ball on the floor. Um, we have algae. Here's a green algae right here. We also have massive cyanobacteria. Here's a construction of both of these. I mean, you can get this and tell, you know, you can see that sound. Tell them to stand and spread out on that inkling. Um, a lot of this may have actually been. Uh, Settle down from higher up the water column. They may not have been washed down this, so they also settle down too. Um, if you get these ones from that, so it's not going to be liquid meat. Um, here's that reactive worm, worm engine for as well. Yeah, um, there are lots of these about. <laughs> Especially, higher quarters of the engine actually count quite a few nice sequoias. And this is really around today. Reactive worms are placed around. They live in such shape, like in burrows like this, and they stick their head up in a fossil that comes out from the inside of them in there. I was wondering, since these they were basically nice these fossils. By hand. Some of them, yeah. Yeah, one of these, like, uh, like the wood inside of the Actually, no, one of these, they spread out rocks just like us. But now they do scanning machines too, or? Not so much. Um, they found the best way to photograph some of these things for scientific publication because of the, the, the um, reflective quality of them, is they actually immerse them in water and shine to be light. Uh -huh. And it comes up with a much nicer picture, sort of a technique. Um, but the, the deposit itself is so thin. Scanning machines aren't quite able to discern that level of detail. There are just some of the fossils about 100 layers, and that bottle would be each other's fossils. Oh, you mean other fossils? Yeah. You know, so a lot of times in these beds, sometimes you get a bed that is thick, like one good layer, or they'll be less fossils. If you try to break off the bed, it's not worth anything. Other times you might get a thicker accumulation, there are actually dozens of just, and then you break it. So there's probably a lot of rocks that are collected right through fossil strips, right? Which pile of inside. We don't know. But so there's a horrible monster from King Kong, but too much people. And I sort of jumped that little But um, there's also animal worms through being cooter farms and uh, ocean crystal worms and things like that. Wonderful details are just Kia. Signs on it. Kia, for example, Kenny right there. Um, beautifully preserved specimens. You know, these are my favorite the animals. Um, here's a classic waxa, which um, there's some construction right there. So sort of, um. They did a lot of work with Bugs Smith and they thought maybe it was some kind of mollusk, but they think it's actually another animal worm. You can see the detail here, there's a little scale on it, and the spines come off. And they have so many specimens, you can do a good 3D construction. What it looks like. Um, there's also, of course, the artifacts, of which there are many. Um, just to give you a comparison, though, with modern flaws, there's two basic groups. Um, the Uranians, which include insects, and these centipedes. The legs only have one branch on them, basically, the Uranians. Um, and this is compared to the other arthropods, which are mostly green. Uh, in which they prefer the leg, actually, it's branches, there's a link on this video, and bottom of it. That's not really parts of the head for variety of purposes. So the Schlitzerus uh, has six neuronous heads on the head, and they have branching bells and things on their body. This includes cyber scorpions, or giraffes. Um, cyber scorpions actually turn on these bells, so it's not quite the same as the regional ones. Um, and then there's the crustaceans, which actually have five single heads on the head, foster crab barnacles, foster parts. Um, this is modern day. It's actually fairly simple. You can go out and say it fits in one of these, and that's it. Um, but there actually are a lot of distinct arthropods, including everything from stride lice, stride big superficial arthropods, you know, about five grains of angelus on the body, um, with four hairs of on the head. And there's also a lot of things with big birth fossils finding in the shell. The Onychodrons, where there are some representatives in the I'll just show you that. The bulk worms. And the Dinocarids. Uh, this is from the Dinocarids. This is really lost again at Arthropod, but continue working for Sam. Maybe it's actually different from them. They've not. This is the argument for the class line series. <laughs> and I'm not going to get into the details on this too much of this. Uh, it's very complicated when you're going back in time trying to take our modern perspective of who you're trying to figure out what Henry did in my pen. He's in the process. That's why I have a whole lot of that. That's and here's some examples of trail dates. You know, uh, this one right here, eight pronounced even. But the uh, neat thing about all these is, you see, here's the passage of the line, but you look carefully, they're legs. Most of the time we find shell lice in geology, you don't size. You see the scales are on top, they're hard shot. But the neat thing about the shell is you often get the legs sticking outside, soft tissue. Uh, this is an animal that they would have been more prone to sometimes trying to stand for that special length to find soft tissue. And I'm sure there's some shell lice that they don't work on the shell because they really do want to see what soft and soft tissue is. Oh, sometimes they find them outside, so they're very <laughs> Everything right there with that. Um, there's also no way that Nikki tried like It's a tried like it didn't have a very hard shell, so you can see your legs on it, so you can see through. So this would primarily be preserved from sizes. 
Um, here's the Kafka in submission. And this is a bottom line Kafka. This is in zero system report in classification to other loss. So it's just service of other loss. Um, this might be something after you know Kafka and learn for something. But there are ones in virtual jail, actually, as well. Um, there's the Ankh there's non pairs. Um, one pair of feeding pages. Um, this group actually managed to survive until the joining. So it's just after looking for it, they actually found it was a predator that was on for group predators on for quite a long time. Huge amount of variability. This is, of course, a very famous one for being mistaken identity for a very long time. Um, not only are they originally for just this, so you don't have to apply the algorithm that he said it's shown. They found this in the original tail, here's the legs, but we were on ahead. So they called it anomaly errors. Um, and this is another thing about Kafka and Jellyfish. That turned out to be math. Um, you can see right here. And this very famous uh, panel that people discovered is something that's going to be stuck in the carpet of Elgin and found the other guys. And named the name out of the first carpet of Elgin. So it's a head stream. Um, oh, the very famous weird thing among the things in front I realized this is now actually about to be related to anomaly errors. A swimming organism, snow leg on the other side. I want to do the creatures all the very important. Who do you think is doing? Well, they've said maybe they're actually related. So this is now a whole other group of animals that exist out in the internet. Um, we have things like dual asserts, things like pairs. Um, so, sort of like large swing versus crowd. <laughs> These are commonplace terms. Um, you can have some examples of superstition, cat aspects, as one. The two gel pair case across the side. Um, These are sort of like this. Um, Tidnea, another arthropod, or arthropod like organism in the bird's shell. This is quite a luxury animal. For its very famous Rella, or lace crab. Um, Exquisite detail observed on a number of specimens that we see real based by our culture. Um, Lee and Colia, another medium in this time. And I have these other boss, but I'm not doing literature, so I'll probably get for my question box. And it's all just superficial, uh, I'm sure exactly how they create people, right? But it is very important, and this is what lets you be able to have a lot of interest in this. Because you go back in time and really can't tell anything that's already and it changes our perspective of the life as it comes out. Uh, you know, things, uh, need to bring some very small knowledge. Um, Wakta, very fruitful thing in the natural Wakta. Um, another move comparison. I like that, and maybe it's a change, but I can't help it in the lanes. Um, this is what we're actually looking at. This is what we're like, rock. Um, and of course we have Cordace, which is a very famous guy. This is the first known Cordace from Cambrian. Uh, giving out a huge uh, extension of that line back in time. Of course, this is the line of animals that do for birds. So, um, and they have a few of that bird shell that's all in China. So, if no, they're very simple, they're like small birds in around the line. That's uh, pretty fair, I think, that's probably. Um, famous Lucy Gia, uh, name by sign coming, or not even sign. So, it's sort of maybe because originally they thought the animal they'd be walking on the tails, growing more projection on the back. This other animal was cut in two, and they found that, oh, there's actually two of these, and this is the legs. We got it over. And there's actually a number of animals out in China, which seem similar to this. We thought all the armored old parts, they're not sure they're related to my offerings or anything else. Um, there are many animals. And there's many things you have no idea of the world. I mean, this is like two of the on the D4 of Spice and you know. There's no comparison to this, it's just a mystery animal. Um, seems equal to the weird monsters. Dr. Griffiths, I'm not sure maybe it's all skin, not. And he carries them in the Sarthropod, perhaps. Um, it's hard to find the divine biotic limbs. I think the two lay animals are for But you can find this, you know, so, you know. Biologists, modern biologists, don't have to say so bad. And there's some more free instructions with some of these animals. Um, so what's the important touch? Well, this is the important picture you can find, right? Uh, all these three start animals later. So you get a real picture of life like at the time. Um, and also, there's an amazing amount of body mass present in the game. A lot of things being in their lives are there, even mass touch the game. And Gould used this as part of support for his theories of evolution during contingency in the history of life. Um, and wrote a wonderful life, which sends her every year up to the British Isle, might seem to say, uh, despite the decades of success of this book now. Um, and, and some of his work with this, he wrote the fact that there was a classical view of true life, where he's patched up all the time. He said, maybe, maybe that I don't know if it's wrong, maybe something like this. You know, it's a matter of faith and scale and evolution. And there's a lot of things just kind of, you're really ready, live for it, and just go extinct. And in fact, this seems to be a view a lot more all the time, um, with every animal group. You go back in the sense of, there's a ton of animals out, and you dinosaurs, they've also been stuff that's extinct. Um, same thing with super amazing moments. Yeah, just two papers. Yeah, is there a sense in the table of both? Is there a sense of the theories of that? Uh, I do the actual life. They kind of think that you can have both views, kind of remarkable, right? And what part of the picture you're looking at. Yeah. But, um, the theories of evolution are very healthy, very good, so does that. Yes. They've been follow-ups since then. Yes, on the fossils. I'm always sorry, one guy in the theory. The older pre-game line. He is pre-game. Well, he's a researcher in the middle. Well, he's a person who's selling it. It's really hot for sure. That's why it's copyrighted this day to the library. And you look at your design, it makes a lot of sense. But even a short, short essay over here, it says that, yeah, not so much heat. Well, not so much. It's not so hot. 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 Right, so. Yeah, and there's still a lot of argument about that. Um, yeah. People like Simon Cummings and Chris kind of come from a school where he thinks everything can fit into existing groups of argument. Mm -hmm. And there's other people that say, oh, that, you know, it's very hard to do that if you do it. Um, I'm going to see Simon Cummings and Chris playing my These days a lot of this. And the survival of life is saying, there's every idea that you've ever proved. Because um, basically, you know, if you don't know exactly why you want to say, well, no. But an analogy for it is kind of, you know, you have one piece on one side, walking on one side, and the other, and walking across one way or the other. That's that contingency, right? Um, yeah, he's very, 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 but I'm going to say, if you take growth because popular book, and never made the series that he ever traditional use in the actual place, he always really thinks that's like as another mode of evolution, saying evolution sometimes happens where, you know, something seems worse than because of their bodies and something else can survive or succeed a little better. He's also just saying that, you know, if we look back in the past, every animal is fit, every animal is capable, and knowing exactly why they happen may not always be due to, um, 
actual physical competition makes you better hands, right? They live or help out the shows to evolve to eat, right? If you chose to evolve to eat, they might say, well, that's not your fault. <laughs> and that's continuity. But, um, so I'm, I'm just going to close off this section with actually a very new thing. Uh, the new or vision large on which also helps us explain by super show on a whole. Um, this was published this year, uh, Nature, and this is a vision lot of light in Morocco. Um, I don't have it on that, but, uh, oh, here it is right here. Sorry, I'm not here in Morocco. Not far from the name, actually, because you can read that your vision is actually in lower position. There are so there's also another vision. These often have a vision of font. One around that has a vision of font. I'll show you all the pictures. It also has a vision of font. Um, just kind of exactly a mix. This is a normal reading environment. There's nothing fancy about this. This is just all sort of animals saying the drums on. And so here's some pictures of some of the animals. Um, this is a uh, dry light, so it's curled on the side. This is a animal, I'm not sure exactly what that is. Um, I don't even know if you know that. It's all very, very new um, to see here. This site was only started in the 90s, so this is fairly new. Um, and I believe you know, I started off from this site. I just started not being yet. Uh, some of these pictures are on my website, like I think some of them are pages. Uh, Others are on paper at this time. And then here, the Tennyson version of Ron, on the Realm Earth. <laughs> this is quite fantastic. I uh, look at the scale of 5 millimeters, this thing is substantially bigger than Ron. Uh, it's got these incredibly detailed images of the front. Um, and the Realm is really neat thing because they don't find Ron anywhere else. The disease itself is only out here at the actual ratio. It's not a big common reason in all the human sites or things like that. But then they go to the ratio and boom, boom, there's a Ron like animal, which is uncertain its relationship with the other thoughts. So this is a very uh, new thing that I can see things of this. This is all that I'm trying to make fun of the world of time. This is a very keen fun. Which most of which created by bone. Okay? This was largely made based on heart animals, right? By the tribes. And the thing is that maybe the Henry Fauna, the Virgil Fauna, actually just in a very similar relationship to the rest of the heart children's at the time. And it didn't just die out after the Virgil, but they continued on some form or another as they got gradually replaced by Pedro Fauna. And Fed Watson is right here now, sorry. So that's an exciting news that the works just being in the So that's it for the first show off.